For thousands of years, the Orkney Islands lay still. In silence, they waited for man's arrival and for history to begin. This is the future. And once again, the Orkney Islands lie empty. Only relics remain. A broken jetty, a rusting ship, an empty oil terminal. Three survivors emerge, a prophet, a merchant, and a woman who cares for old cats. They remember little, but a few traces. Further clues are uncovered. Lost footage of men on tugs. Photographs from a forgotten place. The fragments placed together. A story is discovered. The story of Orkney's oil age. In January 1973, an oil field was discovered 100 miles east of Orkney. The islands had been suffering from economic depression and rumors of a savior spread amongst the people. An empty tanker was spotted out in the Firth and a pilot was sent to guide the great vessel into the island's harbor. The rumors were true. Oil was coming to Orkney. safely aboard, he summoned three tugboats to tow the great ship into the harbor of Scapa Flow. Named after warriors past, Erland, Einar, and Harald emerged from the night. down the tanker was secured. Later that night, the tugboat men went below to eat. Sitting down to their meal, they pondered their catch, joking about the struggle it had put up. 
<laughs> As the conversation died down, they all began to imagine what the future would hold. History has always had people who, who, if you don't have God, you have to make an idol. You have to make the golden calf. Because in this we like to worship. And we have to direct our affection, is it? So let's bet towards something and think it's good. I could have a nice new car. It's my car, or my house, or my oil company. <laughs> it's the biggest thing it's been in my life. It's been good to me. I get lots of money from it and it's, it's great. I mean, Orkney shows you idols everywhere. The mystery of the standing stones is idol worship, I believe. 